Have fun with the weekend highlights of the European League of Football, presented by Euronix, proud technology partner of the ELF. Running back, uh, flanking him off to the right-hand side. Under pressure, and he will go down. Boy, very lucky to be able to pounce back up on top of that football is D'Angelo Fulton, but he was looking at an oncoming train from the Vikings' 39-yard line. Full floor. He to move up a pocket, keep it himself. He can do this very ably, and he gets past the first down marker. Takes a slide, and this is a very promising drive for the Raiders. Tara Leader, the Irishman, out of the hold of Philip Hahn. The ball is up, and it is good. Off their own 40-yard line, full forward. Bonatti. In the arms, as we call a 41, 42 yard kick for Leader. Punches it through the uprights. And indeed, the Raiders T Roll have put themselves on the score sheet twice. So the ball goes over on downs, and Raiders will take possession from their own 35. Fulford throwing long over the northern sideline. Oh. Oh my. From the own 35, Ben Holmes floats one up and it is caught. Noah Tulane. And all of a sudden the Vikings are inside Raiders territory. Holmes not wasting any time going to the end zone. Oh my. Jordan Boom. Just like that, the Vikings get themselves up on the scoreboard. For now, let's have a look at Holmes. Holmes just putting a ball directly into the breadbasket of Jordan Bua. Hopefully, will be dropped. Now the pocket this time not only collapsed, but Jan Philip Holmbeck is still disappointed that he's not going to make ESPN Sports Center back in the United States. He's going to take the ball from the snap. Loft one upfield, and uh, this has turned into a very interesting drive. Flo Bierbaumer. This formation even has me confused. Ben Holmes scrambles out to the empty side, throws it in the end zone, touchdown Vikings. Well, that was with design that Chris Glake and, and, and in particular, Max Zomer that for the coming 15 minutes because we are just about ready for halftime. Looked like he had every intention of walking into the end zone with the ball, so he had him up, and it was just a, it was, it became a child's game at that point. And this also looked like child's play for a second. Reese Horn making it look oh so simple. Presumably they're going to come away with some fairly decent uh, field position on the exchange. Straights punt, fielded at the 40. Devin Taylor, what a dangerous returner he is. Is this going to be the one? No, but it's still a big one. He brings the ball all the way back inside the red zone. The visitors. Now, Bonatti ran into the pile, and the uh, circling behind him and dropping him is Jan Philip Bombeck. Last field flipping exercise was really flipped off by Devin Taylor of the Raiders. A really good return. That's how you break out of Groundhog Day. Just whoa. No, they're not. They're going to. Uh, Bring on the hired gun. Kick is blocked. Kick is blocked. Darren Leader's field goal attempt is blocked. Two yards outside of the red zone. Dare I say it? Holmes. Which the end zone found his man complete inside the five. He has built up his impressive resume on the European side of the pod. Back to the <laughs> See, we both 
put you to sleep. I'm rambling on about the coach. Beerbomber just makes himself available in the end zone. Watch this one develop. And Beerbomber just turns. And, oh, I start to feel the quarterback. I believe that's Reichel who's come in, the Austrian uh, quarterback. To give the ball to Bayerainen. And hands up for two points. Just have such a tradition and great history that really sets them in a category amongst themselves. Chafin trying to do a lot of stuff on the return, and I think that's what cost him. Who is now on the injured reserve? Reichel. That's why you put your quarterback in. What a night to remember for number 12. Alexander Reichel. He was happy for him, but Ben Holmes. At this juncture, you're like, he's going to go. Hold on, he's going to go. That was about the last good chance to get a hold of him. They're in the offensive backfield. Huber didn't get a glove on him. He was untouched. Both intriguing matchups, and hopefully we'll welcome you back uh, already tomorrow for what should prove to be another great day of ELF football. But for now, the, is over. the battle of Austria is coming to a conclusion for today.